dear. Uh, I want to say good night to you. You know, uh, it's quite late in the night. You understand? No uh, my, so my can... boys are at the back uh, in my so, car. So They're be... behind us. Yes, my dear. Thank you so much, Chief. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being my special guest. Yes, it, so it, it, it's just a token. You know who you are to me. You understand? And it was a wonderful party. You women are making us proud. And I met so many people that I have not met since uh, I came back from China. You know, and our party, you women are the ones that will help this party to go. When you become a senator, then they will know what we're talking about. Eh? Uh, but just, you know tomorrow we are going to meet again I know but yeah. I just want you to know that I appreciate your it's calling all right. all the same it's alright okay. it's alright my dear uh, we will meet tomorrow okay, uh, driver uh, you can stop at that junction so that uh, she will join her entourage you know her, her boys <laughs> <laughs> ok sweetheart thank you chief mm. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Jay. I'm so addicted to you. I don't know what I can do without you. <laughs> Went to a party. Or what else did you expect? Or did you expect me to have taken you along? Hmm. Well, what is wrong in that? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why are you laughing? You, of course. You expect me to have taken you along? Very funny. And what is that thing in your hand? Are you still rendering stupid prayers in this house after I warned you not to? Yes. I am a Christian, a Catholic. And nobody can stop me from praying to my God. How dare you? How dare you give it to me? If I ever see you, let me warn you, if I ever see you rendering any stupid prayers in this house again, I will deal with it. Grace, better pray to God for help. Just look at the time you are coming home, married woman. Look at me. Shut up look your dirty mouth. Me. Shut up! Shut your dirty mouth and move your carcass out of here before I move you. Still, your husband. You, in fact, you, you are still my wife. No matter how that makes you feel. Shut up! Come on, get out! Get out, idiot! Look at this! Look at 
this buffoon, this old fool, this idiot calling me your wife? Bloody fool. What? Oh, what what's, what's, what's all this rubbish? What's all this nonsense? In fact, let me get. What? What's all that rubbish? look like an evening to you? I'm oh, sorry, I forgot. It's night. Good night. Laura, come back here. Okay. I say come back here. Sir, what is it? Where are you coming from? I am coming from a party. Which party? A birthday party. Birthday party of who? Winnie, of course. So you went to Winnie's birthday party. And you are coming back at this ungodly time of the night. Why didn't you sleep there? Cyril, I don't have that time. I'm going to bed. Okay. What? What did you just do? to our noble clique. By this you have shown that you, 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 you don't belong to our group. You belittled us beyond imagination. Gosh! He did all this to you and you did nothing. I tried. Tried one my boots. No, no, listen to me. Huh? Leave this serious issue. For once, let me handle it. I even told him I'll report him to you. When he was beating me, he now said, he now said that you should go to hell, that you cannot do anything. Oh, I will go to hell. Yes, I will go to hell for Syria. Just wait and see. Yes, hello. 
Good day. Is that the commissioner of police, please? Oh. <laughs> yes. This is Chief Doctor Mrs. Betty Douglas. <laughs> well, I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you, sir. I'm fine, and you? Well, everything is okay here. Yes, sir. Well, it's just this friend of mine that the lunatic of a husband backed us from time to time. And, yeah, I keep taking her to the hospital and paying the bills. So it doesn't make you feel any remorse? Yes. Anything that will make him feel it. I want him to feel it so well. Yes, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, <laughs> anything, anything, anything. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. Thanks a lot, eh? Yeah, bye. Thank you. This is the right pills for serious madness. I am going to deal with your husband. I'm so sorry. Just go ahead. I will deal with him seriously. He will feel it for touching you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, my duty. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Inspector Kelvin from the force headquarters and this is my colleague. So how can I help you? Are you Dr. Cyril Stevie? Yes, of course I am. Can you please come with us down to the station? What? I cannot understand this. Please, when you get to the station, we'll explain to you better. Can we please go now? And uh, which uh, station is this? Force headquarters at, uh, at Johnson Estate. Uh, look, officer, I know the station. You can go back. I will join you later. I'm going nowhere. You have to come along with us now. Is this an invitation or an arrest? I have a warrant here for your immediate arrest. I have misunderstanding with my wife. And I have to do what I have to do to correct her. And this is purely family affair. You are not invited. When you get to the station, you will explain better. But now, let's go. Officer, this is my home. And this is my wife. We have to settle it in my home. I am not going anywhere. Do you want to do it quietly or you want, you want us to do it hardly on you? So this is what it has come up. Because you have society women, gangs to protect you. No problem. Can we leave here now, sir? Sergeant. Mr. Man, it's okay. So, uh, it's it's okay. Uh, who do you think you are, sir? Well, Laura, I must confess, I was very ashamed of you. I was so disgraced with the news. <laughs> I mean, this is one little thing one could use to nail your progress in the club, and you know it. Well, Lady Betty, yeah, kudos. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I've told her. You see that? She guards her loins or she saves us this constant embarrassment. Exactly. Exactly, because we can't take this anymore. You have to handle it, Laura. Handle it. You're proving too much of a weakling than a noble queen you should be. 
Handle it. Handle it. I'll handle it. I'll surely handle it. So, where is the swine now? Deep in the dark, of course. Beautiful. Where else could it be? Oh, trust this lady. Come on, baby. Oh, my empress. <laughs> my empress. <laughs> anyway, I have one good news. Good news? Yes. That's what I want to hear. I spoke with Senator Adams over having one of us as the resident electoral commissioner in one of the states, and he gave me his word. <laughs> Come on. Say that again. Oh. <laughs> that is wonderful. Come on, really. I want to hear more about that. <laughs> that means mega bulk and a connection for all of us ladies. Oh, really? Good. If this works out, Gosh, this is going to be uh, apex for the Queen's Club. At least we're going to hit the elections big time. Abu, mm. Alice, I have the dream of uh, coming out for House of Red come next election. Oh, come off it. You haven't been able to handle the pauper in your home. How much more? Coming out for House of Reps. Listen, let me tell you. That is a different ball game, okay? No, Laura. It is the same ball game. It's not. When it comes to politics, the best of the worst is let loose. Yeah. You sound confident. Very, very confident. All I need is little time to handle issues with cereal. Then I will come out again. You better do that very fast. Well, ladies, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, it's always a sweet thing to be with a big lady. <laughs> I cherish your company as well. Shh. 
Shut your dirty mouth. Just shut it, you braggart. Don't take advantage of my friend's stupidity. Okay? She ain't stupid. She's just been in love. And what is the crime in it? Really? Well, the crime in it is that she's fallen in love with a kid who can't even express himself without hiding behind his father's shadow. Excuse me, madam. I am not hiding under my father's shadows. I am my own man. And if you must know, I am a well-trained medical doctor here in Nigeria and abroad. And if you must know, I am about to open a unique state-of-the-art medical center here in Nigeria. No, no, shut no. up! Shut up! Shut up! If you're that, if you're that as you say that you are, why couldn't you have booked yourself into a five-star hotel for your love nest instead of coming here to hibernate in my guest suit? And you still have the guts. You still have the guts to run your stinking mouth at me. Grace, uh, Grace, please. I'm, I'm really very sorry. Oh, shut your dirty mouth. Shut it! You brought all this insult upon me. Imagine! You made it possible for this, this braggart, this kid to insult me. Oh, please. And Mr. Medical Doctor, I want you to clear your ass out of my guest suit. And for your information, the lady in question is a married woman. And I'd love to see how you flex your dry biceps when her husband eventually catches up with you. Well, if you must know, when we get to the bridge, I will cross it. Indeed. Convenient it was for you to forget our oath. 
I'm very sorry, Lady G. It's just that that boy won't stop pestering me ever since. Ever since when? The cocktail party at the government house. Remember, he was there with his father. You know how much it cost me to manipulate your husband to leave us alone. What I saw there was was more like you were too willing to give. Actually, the truth is I'm beginning to miss how it feels to be touched by a real man. From, from your so-called husband? Huh? Remember you turned him into a vegetable? Shut up! What I did, I did for your own good. Now you listen to me. If I ever see you with that boy, or any other boy for that matter, he's a dead mate. Do you understand me? You belong to me. Me and none other. Do you get that? Yes, Lady Jane. get a nominee, a representative, who is going to work with the Electoral Commission. And um, I don't know what you guys think, but I want us to do the nomination here and now. So who is going to represent us? Noble ladies. The, the big lady. lady. I don't think we have much to consider about picking Lady Laura here for the job. It's true she's new in the Queen's Club, but I'm sure we all know she can effectively contain the job. Noble ladies, the big lady. I don't think so. Lady Laura here cannot contain the task in discourse. Why? Because Lady Laura here lacks the vigor and versatility for the job. Well, I don't think so. Oh, but I've just told you that. Grace? Yep. Are you talking to me or something? <laughs> Lady Betty. That question of yours seems so rhetoric, but still I will not drop my views. Lady Laura here cannot go for us, simple. What is the meaning of this? An insult? No, a simple expression 
of an objective opinion. Hold on, ladies, please. It's okay. What is this? An expression of views. I wouldn't want to repeat myself here. Lady Grace, please sit down. Lady Betty, sit, please. No, 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 pick lady. Lady Grace is insulting me. No, Betty, I am not insulting you. I have the right to express my views and my opinions right here, the same way you do. Yes, um, I think Lady Grace is right, big lady. Oh, will you shut your trap there? Are you in any way referring to me? Who else am I talking to? Come, shut your big mouth there. Well, I think you should be the one to shut up. What is wrong with you? Come. You threw questions at me. And why would I throw questions at you? Are you a demigod? Oh, yeah, girl. How dare you? How dare you talk to Lady Betty that way? Are you mad? <laughs> Sit down, everybody. Lady, Lady Betty, I least expected this from you. No, no, big lady. You were sitting there, and Grace was insulting. I was not insulting you, Betty. Stop using that word. You dare to play this? Who are you? Why the hell do you think you are? You are a witch. you. That's just it. They are damn small. They are damn small to upset you, okay? Yes! They are too junior to my status. But look at them. Insulting and raining abuses on me. Imagine, imagine that kind of embarrassment. Imagine that kind of insult. Oh, Grace. Oh, my goodness. Imagine Grace. Eh? Objecting to my, to, to, to my suggestions. Grace of all people! No! I will not take it! No! See, just to calm down, we haven't still lost. Oh! I feel lost, Edna! I feel lost! Oh, God! Grace that I opened door for! Grace that insulting and running abuses on me! Grace that I showed the way to the top! Eh? I consecrated her! I even, I even initiated her! I, I, I initiated that stupid saucy network into the Ashland of Queen's Club and she dares attack my views. No, Grace, not me. Damn! God bless me. No. Betty, don't forget whom you are. You are the Tigress of Queen's Club. It's high time you make Grace feel your thanks. Okay? Yeah! Yes. I am going to use those fangs to tear Grace into pieces. Simple. I am going to tear her into pieces. I will teach her a lesson she will never forget in her life. Please, please, it hasn't come to this. No, 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 no. Don't tell me bullshit. What the hell are you talking about? Me. Where are you? Where are you standing? You want to tell us go rap because you want to belong to their own side or what? No. You are getting this all wrong. And no. to calm down. Me. Leave Grace. I will kill Grace. I showed her the way to the top. I'll show her the way to the bottom. I mean, she feels above everybody and this has got to stop. No, Carol. It has stopped. You see, Betty? 
She's gonna feel the real me in autumn psychology. <laughs> Lady Chi. <laughs> oh, girls. Just take a look at me. Come on, girls. Mm -hmm. Do I look like I could be taken for a ride? No Don't way. <laughs> Let's forget about Betty Douglas. You know why? Because her reign in the Queen's Club has failed. Betty Douglas has been overthrown, and I, Grace Benson, have taken over. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. I am now a moving train, and nobody dares to halt a moving train. If Betty Douglas dares, if she dares to stand in my way, she will be crushed. And that, girls, is a promise. <laughs> it's not a joke at all. <laughs> well, oh, Lady G. Feels good. <laughs> good, though. Well, I think everybody's beginning to realize her incessant imposition of views on us. I'm happy you all now know. Oh well, as for me, Betty Douglas can bloody well go to hell for all I care. Same here. We can't be stuck on her forever simply because she let us in. Of course. No I mean, why should I, Grace Benson, why should I care because she let me in? Why should I care? Who is Betty Douglas after all? What is going on here, Greg? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Jacob! Jacob, what are you doing here? This is my house, and you are still my wife. Who, who is your wife? Who is your wife? Look at this. Look at this stinking old fool. Carcass. Now you listen to me. If I count from one to three, and I can still smell your stinking ridiculous scent in this room. Oh my God. I will tell you that you don't own even a pin in this house. Do you understand me? Chris, pray for God's mercy. You're only a few inches from, from hell. Shut up! Shut up, you disgust me! Come on, get out of here! Leave! I want to watch the te television. Do you know what TV is? Do you know what television is? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this scumbag. Oh, and you. What are you still waiting for? Move. What are you still waiting for? Move it, old man. Move. Move him. Oh, lousy idiots. Damn. But Lady G, with all seriousness, honestly, I think you had better do something concerning this thing. I mean, send him to some, you know, some home, maybe a home for the invalids. She's right, you know. I mean, he's, he's an embarrassment, a nuisance for that matter. And he has made it a habit to keep burging into it each time we're having a meeting. You have to suck this guy out, and the sooner you do it, the better for us all. Yeah, no. I've been thinking about it, you see. Um, it's just that I don't want my enemies or the press, you know, to use that old buffoon as an excuse to jettison my political aspirations, you know. But don't worry, babies. By the time we're home, by the time I'm in the Federal House of Senate, I'll settle this issue permanently. Yeah. Okay. So, let's get back to what we're talking about. Yes. Uh, Betty Douglas. Oh, yes. Yes, Betty Douglas. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's forget about Betty Douglas. She's in uh, a forgotten issue. If you think so. <laughs> and why are you laughing? This is music to my ears. <laughs>
So, Lady Grace, what are you saying? Do you accept Lady Laura's candidature? Well, noble ladies. Lady. Well, my stand still remains that Lady Laura here is not strong enough. She is too feeble to go for us. I mean, the most common thing, the most ordinary thing a noble lady of the Queen's Club should be able to do is handle her home. But unfortunately, Lady Laura here has not been able to handle the little niche that is her home. So how on earth is she expected to be able to handle the National Electoral Board? Lady Grace. Yes. I wouldn't want you to talk anything about my home again. I mean, you don't have the right to teach me how to handle my home. Okay? Lady Laura, I am not about teaching you how to handle your home. But what? I am telling it to you that you have not been able to handle your home. So how can you handle the electoral board? Grace, listen and listen good. I'm listening. Politics is a different ball game. So I wouldn't want you to talk anything about my home again. You don't get it, do you? And I am not ready to get it. Oh, please. Politics in this country is about men. You have to be able to handle men, to handle men in politics. I mean, I say I don't want you to men. talk anything well, about my home again. Noble ladies, the big, big lady. lady. Noble ladies, the, the big, big lady. lady. Let us all give Lady Betty an audience, please. Noble ladies, the, the big, big lady. lady. Well. It is rather too late and very unfortunate for us noble ladies. The issue has already been concluded and settled. She is going for us. Who is concluding what, Lady Betsy? What is it you're trying to do? Impose Lady Laura on us or what? What is this? I don't care what you think or what you say. I have only made a point. Noble ladies. The big lady. And I say, Lady Betsy, it is equally unfortunate for you because it is impossible. Well, 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 well. I have nothing to say to you, but my tentacles will speak for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tentacles? Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, come on, ladies, did you hear that? Oh, God. Lady Grace, please, this is enough. No, please, just wait, okay? I wait. say is enough. Oh. And I say I am talking. Do you mind? Well, well, well. Lady Betty. The big lady here says that her tentacles will speak for her. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> In that case, Lady Betty, why don't we just stop all this drama, so to say, or should I call it unnecessary fiasco? And let us watch as the tentacles speaks for me and as they speak grow, for me how they'll eventually and speak for me. <laughs> Noble ladies, the big, big, big lady. lady. Noble ladies, the big, big, big lady. lady. This is enough. We have had enough of these frivolities, for God's sake. Why are we wasting our precious time listening to avoidable misunderstandings? I want us to sort this thing out here right now. Good. Lady Grace, who do you choose for the post? I would like us all to know that whoever is chosen 
will be sent to the governor's office first thing tomorrow morning for proper appraisal. So who is your candidate? Noble ladies, the the big big lady. Lady. I nominate Lady Carol here for the position. Oh, no wonder. Well, that's all right. We are going to put it on vote. I will not take part in the voting to ensure a balanced decision. Any one of you here who supports Lady Carol to be our representative, may you please indicate by raising a hand. One, two, three. If you support Lady Laura, may I see your hands? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my God. Right. <sighs> Lady Grace, as you can see, Lady Laura is going to represent us and not Carol. In that case, with all due respect, noble lady, I, Grace Benson, I will not have it. Grace! Tentacles are speaking Grace. for me. Grace. Grace. My tentacles are already speaking for me. Really? Yeah. Why don't you watch and leave us as it continues to work? <laughs> Let her leave if she has to leave. Let her leave. Lady Laura has already been chosen and that's final. Bullshit! You see what I mean, baby? My pledge? Yes, no. What? You remember you said when you skilled through your hurdles and um, gained the necessary recognition you desired that you were going to buy him a mansion. Have you forgotten? Oh, that. Mm -hmm. Well, till then. I beg your pardon. Look, of course, please. till then. <laughs> Grace, please. I don't want any problems, okay? You know the way that man and his spirit beings behave. You know the powers they operate with. For God's sake, what else do you want? You've made a lot of money. People now fear and respect you. So what else do you want? Please, redeem their pledge. I don't want problems. I've warned you. Hey, Gladys. What's your problem? I mean, are you daft or what? Have you forgotten that? To get his favors or his spirit beings, favors, whatever. I had to sacrifice my husband's brains. You, your husband's manhood. That's how we got all that we got. Listen, as far as I am concerned, we've sacrificed enough. He should wait till I get to the top of my political ambitions before he grumbles again. Well, Grace, God knows I've begged. Please. Hey, baby I'm girl. I'm not joking. Come on, listen, this is Grace Benson. I'm in charge always, okay? Please. I know exactly what I'm doing, right? You know you're very stubborn. I don't know how I get to cope with you. <laughs> oh, so why are you laughing? Uh, what is funny? But, but I'm serious, you know, you, you know I'm, I'm serious, at least I'm serious about it. Oh God, do you ever take anything seriously? 
Like what? Like you? I take you very seriously, you know that. Like me? Yeah, like you. Like you. Seriously. Oh, please, spare me. <laughs> now you're laughing. It's part of what I'm talking about. Can't you ever... Okay, when you try and be serious, we're getting very close. Okay. And you tell me you're serious this way, right? Yeah. Like this, you're very, very serious. Yeah, yeah right. Very, very yeah, serious. right. Look very, at very her. Serious. Look at her. <laughs> You're so not. Good. Let me get good with you. Hey! Make sure you don't enter into the sacred place with your shoes on. Look, I am having a meeting with the spirits. Make sure you don't trample on them, else you develop elephantitis. Um, where we are standing, is, is it okay? Let me finish. my lord let me attend to these children we shall continue with this later oh. you can come to the chambers my children May you live long, great Akani. Will you shut up, you stubborn child? Any fly that refuses to listen to advice ends up in the grave with the cops. But what have I done wrong, great one? I had your friend advising you to fulfill your pledge, but you paid death here. But how did you know that? <laughs> These spirits told me, as a matter of fact, they are standing beside you, waiting for my command to deal with you. Please, great one, please. Great one, she's sorry. She, she's just been ignorant. Please oh, please. Sure apology is enough for both of us. Great one, name your price. She is lion-hearted. She is my product. But you must thank your personal assistant, for she is your saving grace. The day she ceases being loyal to you is the day you bid your existence good night. For a child that does not know how to drink water, drinks with its nostril. There is a huge temptation ahead of you. You must not neglect a positive advice from a loved one. You must not let your temper get the better part of you, for it spells doom. What is your mission? 
a great one. It's about the forthcoming elections. I want my opponents to be disgraced at the polls and I to have a landslide victory. I'm coming. Mm. There is success. You will succeed. But we have to get prepared. We have to get prepared for this. Okay. So, what do you want from me? How much will it cost? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> oh, two or cuckoo, well, now. I know so long when one might be a Even no good president can I come, mother. Nobody sees that for my color. So, what is your problem now? Chief, my problem is that. They've nominated the same lady, and I won't have it. Why? Chief. She's... She's like a disco. I mean, she's obviously inactive. She's going to jeopardize my chances of re-election. Chief, I know that she can't perform. So, who do you want now? Chief, mm. I want someone who, someone who can command the opportunity and convert it effectively. Someone who, when made the electoral commissioner, will use the position to influence our state's own electoral commissioner into playing to my style. <laughs> Is that necessary? Eh? Don't you think that I can control, that I can handle anyone that comes here as electoral commissioner? I know you can. Hmm? I know. It's just that I just don't want to take chances. What with the governor not running for re-election and kind of being so lukewarm about issues concerning the election? My son-in-law is the uh, party chairman. We'll always update me with going on prior to election. You understand what I'm saying? I have told you to answer that number. Stop worrying yourself because that senatorial seat belongs to you. I want you to trust me. Understand? This is Ambassador Durojimo speaking to you. I'm the one talking to you. I can lay all your fears. Or don't you trust me anymore? I do. I trust you, Chief. But perhaps this one last help will solidify my trust in you. <laughs> Is that so? All right, my dear. Consider it an accomplished mission.
You're welcome. Please be seated. Thank you. How is your family? Like a king good. Thank you. Very well. Excuse me. Femi! Femi! Yes, honey? Get us something to drink. Okay, I'm coming, honey. So, are all the names approved? Definitely. That's why I'm here. Very well, then. Let me hear it. Um, well, there was a slight change. Change? Yeah. Change? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Save Thank you. Why are you distressed? I want to go out and see somebody, a friend. You want to start messing around with those little girls? Will you go upstairs and wait for me? Ah, Connie, you know me now. I'm not like that. I wouldn't want to repeat myself. Okay. Cheers. So you were about saying something? Yeah. The national chairman and the president insisted on now someone who is very loyal to CDP. That will no time uh, compromise the success of the party. So the governor refused to assent on your nominee. Mr. Chairman, this is very awful. So what do we do? The vacuum was immediately replaced with someone else because there was no time to start uh, consulting. This uh, beats back to what I told you earlier to nominate your best bet. And Senator Adams too told you that. Mr. Chairman, this is totally unacceptable to me. It's a slight on my personality and I'm going to protest it. I'm so sorry, Barrister. The list has been sent to National Assembly for screening and approval. God. And there is nothing I can do about that. I'm so sorry. on my toes. Girl stabs me on the back. <laughs> Let her get on her max because the race is about to start. Girl hits me. I'm going to hit her. I'm going to hit her and I'm, she will feel it. She will feel it. Complete grace. I still totally don't want to believe that this is what Grace is doing. I don't want to believe it. If it is not Grace, then who? Who could have planted Carol in your place? Who? I am suspecting the state party chairman. You see what I'm saying? The state party chairman is Chief Jimo's son-in-law. And what is Chief Jimo to Grace? Actually, what Grace did was totally against our norms and ethics. Oh. You see, she took us aback. <sighs> oh. And I'm going to take her 29 times right behind. The fool is calling. Good. Take the call. <laughs> no way. Me. As I Grace call. I cannot. Pick up that phone. Hear her out, first of all. Hear her out. What do you want from me, Grace? No, big lady. Calm down, okay? Just calm down. I just wanted to find out if you've her the last on whose name was finally sent to the National Assembly for the screening, I mean, as to the resident electoral commissioner's post. Hmm? Grace, 
you know by this, you have stepped on my toes. Do you know what I'm going to do in return? No. I am going to pounce on you. Grace, you are mistaking the tigress's gentility for cowardice. The same fangs with which it fights, it also plays. And I'm going to tear you into pieces, Grace. I am going to tear you into pieces. And listen to me. Let this be the last time you will call this line. I hope you heard me well. <laughs> One. What did she say? The moron is bragging about the whole thing. Really? Grace is making jamless statements. Worthless statements. About the whole thing. And you know what, ladies? I am going to open the books of wisdom and teach her a lesson she will never forget in her life. I will teach Grace a lesson and she will never forget me. <gasps> I think Grace is getting too far. I need to call her and bring her back home. That won't be necessary, Laura. Why? Why? It's okay. We're going to have a meeting tomorrow and sort this thing out once and for all. No way, hmm. Lady Winnie. No way! Me! Sit in the same meeting with Grace? No, no. no. That will make her feel important. Yes. That will make her feel crucial. Which she is not. She will, she will feel like somebody. No way. I am not going to give her the opportunity of sitting in the same place to discuss any issue with her. Oh, I am going to deal with Grace. Well, ladies. It's okay. Leave everything to me. I am going to handle Grace's case. I will deal with Grace. My goodness. I am going to deal with Grace. I am a lioness. Congratulations. <laughs> Residential Electoral Commissioner. <laughs> REC. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. But you know I owe it all to you. Especially my prospective senator. Oh, and not at all. To a prospective senator. Oh, yes. Toast. But it's not a prospect, it's a certainty. Now, my tentacles are talking. Oh, and they're definitely gonna hear it out loud. <laughs> Very loud indeed. <laughs> and yes, at least for this time, let me feel on top of Betty Douglas. Oh, <laughs> Betty will be frizzled when she hears this. Ah, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, yes. She can even go nuts and naked. You know, I only wanted to push her into recognizing that I've long deserved her respect, as long as the Queen's Club is concerned. Lady G. Oh. <laughs> when I do become a senator, mark my words, girls, I said when, not if. I had it, girl. <laughs> when I do become a senator, mm -hmm. I will show her how to move tentacles. <laughs> Lady <laughs> King! <laughs> My able senator. And this is just for a start. Girls, you know what? They say life is beautiful. Mm -hmm. But you know what I think? Yes. I believe it's only for those who have something to show for it. People like Grace Benson. Did right she? on, girl. My able senator. Senator Grace Benson. Benson. <laughs> it feels so good. Man. And girls, this is just the beginning. Uh oh. Now watch out. My, my lady. lady. My senator. <laughs> hey, say that again. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boss. Oh, 
Yes, madam. What about the posters? It is in progress now. I mean, the pristine. The guys contacted our status since yesterday. Good. some of the party executives. This is uh, Mr. Emmanuel Effium, the Senatorial District Chairman of the party. I'm pleased to meet you, Mr. Effium. You're welcome. Thank you. And this is the Secretary of the Senatorial District of the party, Mr. Tony Epwe. Nice to meet you. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Epwe. I'm the woman leader, Mrs. Rita Clark. Oh, now I am so pleased to meet you. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you so very much for coming. So, may we all sit down? Well, I indeed ask the Honorable Chairman here and Mr. Secretary to summon this rather informal meeting so that I can at least meet with you all. You all know what is at stake. Since the primaries are this close, I think this meeting is not just necessary, it is imperative. Well, you know that uh, the delegates who will be voting are all human beings and can be influenced. So I want you all to ensure that all the votes be for me, Grace Benson. And I can assure you that I don't easily forget favors done for me. Exactly. Well, when you all must have played your own parts in the verbal sense, I will then compliment with the green card. The objective of this meeting is to have you all gather for me, the delegates, in three days. Let me have the schedule and the venue so that I can meet with the delegates face to face and, of course, with cash in hand. Thank you. Well, madam, I've heard and know you so much. I always know that it's you that's the demand and responsibilities of our district called for. Right from the announcement of your ambitions to us, Mount Park. So on behalf of I and my comrades here, I would say that you have our total support. <laughs> and we will do as you have pleaded. You will hear from us in two days now. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so very much. I'm so happy and I am so, so impressed. Thank you very much. I can assure you all 
that the fruit of this meeting will be to you all's benefit once you ensure that victory is mine. Thank you, thank you so very much. For today's meeting, um, I'm afraid I don't have much in stock for you. But um, when I leave, Honorable Chairman here will let you all have my little token of 500,000 Naira each. Oh. That is nothing. I can assure you all that more is coming your way. Now, I have to run because I have this engagement that I have to rush to. Once again, once again, Mr. Ifin, thank you very much. You're welcome. It was nice. I'm welcome. You most especially, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Mr. Ikwe. Thank you, Madam. Thank you very much for being here. Once again, Madam, I assure you that we we give you our total support to make sure you clinch the seat of the Senate. Oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. I am so pleased once again. The world is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. No problem. All right. All right. Ladies, I invited just the two of you here in my capacity as the leader of the Queen's Club. So that we will talk and reach a truce over this your incessant in Brooklyn. Please, Betty, please, don't let this get out of hand. I don't want it to get above our club's aspirations, please. Aspirations? Did you just say club aspirations, big lady? Come. What was it? When Laura was nominated for the resident electoral commissioner's appointment, what was it? Beth. My dear Lady Betty, or is it Dougal Douglas? Yes. <laughs> what is it that is eating so deep into you? I mean, you seem to be uncomfortable with my majestic presence or is it my senatorial ardent <laughs> you are not referring to me in any way i i can bet to that ladies please let us not start please no wait big lady we're not about to quarrel i'm just trying to find out from this this gruntled element what exactly it is about me that nauseates her so much. Is it my fame? I mean, my rising prestige and nobility? Or could it be my unquenchable super connections? What is it exactly, dear lady? You see, Grace, if I have flying tunes for a slot of your sort, I will call you. I have your numbers. I have your numbers. You dare to call me a slut, Betty? Oh, yes. That is, if the word whore is not so outdated. Ladies, come on, come on, come on, please, please, please. Let us all stop this. For God's sake, where are your manners? You mean you are talking to me? You this two-bit hooker? Okay, please, where are your manners? No, 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 no. Lady, you talk to this barking mad dog because... If she dares point those cursed fingers at me again, I am going to deal with her. And if I do, what will you do? If I do, what will you do? In fact, I will do it and even more, you desperate hooker.
Bloody Tigress So much pride Deadly in her Yeah, yeah, yeah. 